series, I'm investigating layers of Mexican culture and the importance of preserving them as a first-generation Mexican-American. To do this, I've been taking time to interview native-born Mexicans in my family, including my elders, and researching cultural traditions slash events. Doing this allows me to understand their impact so one day I can pass it down to the next generation, but I also aim to educate others about my heritage as well. This led me to question what parts of Mexican culture can and should be highlighted. Without the knowledge of these more obscure aspects and why they're important, they will be lost to time and can never be passed down. My first pieces, numbers 2, 3, and 4, touch on more well-known subjects in order to gradually shift into lesser-known parts of the culture, such as 6, 8, 10, 13, 14, and 15. With this series, I want to explore the lively, spirited nature that is deeply ingrained in Mexico's roots and immerse others in it using vibrant colors and contrast throughout pieces like number 8. How can I portray discomfort as something that promotes self-development? In this investigation, I illustrate several people's uncomfortable experiences and how they dealt with them. At first, I focused solely on my own life and depicted myself as the subject matter, as in images 2, 4, and 5. However, I soon realized that incorporating the stories of others would lend my series credibility, variety, and interest. Through a survey, I asked responders to relate personal stories and what they learned from them, displayed in image 1. Each piece was built from a response, and each one required specific background research. For example, image 15 involved foster teen adoption, so I researched the experiences of foster parents. I also chose the most fitting composition, medium, and color palette for the unique tone and subject of each response. In image 15, harsh, gritty colored pencil symbolizes a mother's pain over the departure of her adopted son. Bright, golden hues express the self-awareness she gained as well. Over time, my process formalized into research, sketching, color testing, then execution, as in images 9, 11, 13, and 15, though I also experimented with technique as in image 6. Through this series, I am investigating the negative effects of fast fashion. Fast fashion companies purposely use low-quality materials so that clothing must be replaced quicker than in past decades. 
This allows manufacturers to produce larger volumes and increase profits. This also ensures repeat customers who do not realize the long-term costs that result from cheap prices. Factory workers must deal with grueling work conditions and low wages. The fast fashion industry is one of the leading sources of air and water pollution as well. I explore these ideas through the portrayal of the hardships of factory workers, waste of natural resources, and effects of pollution. I experimented with the integration of various fabrics and threads into my watercolor paintings. In my first image, I sewed pink threads into the paper to show how fast fashion seeps water from our natural resources to produce clothing. I made the foreground sharper than the background to create a sense of depth. In my seventh image, I sewed green thread into the smoke to show how poor working conditions are poisoning clothing factory workers. I used a variety of warm and cool tones to create greater contrast.